because I'm going to have to leave. Willie, congratulations. Off and running at the William Hill World Dance Championship. Just sum up how you're feeling. Not sure what to say. <laughs> a lot of mixed feelings, and I'm not happy with how I played at all. Did you get embroiled in a game you didn't need to get embroiled in? Yeah, probably. You know, I expected Marco to play a lot better than he did. I expected to play a lot better than I had to, you know, to, to win, but it is what it is, you know, I'll take the win and move on. He seemed quite slow up there, just the way he throw. Did that really put you off your stride a little bit? Probably did. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was it. You know, maybe it was, you know, maybe that was it. You know, I felt as though in the end of the game, I did get into my head, you know, maybe it's the fact that he's, you know, very, very, now I won't say slow, but methodical. very methodical. And, you know, maybe that's playing a part and I just, just can't get into the game, especially though he wasn't playing that well. And maybe I just started looking at his game more, more than what it should have been. I just, I didn't play well at all, like, you know, he didn't play well, but look, I take the win, move on, that's all I can do, isn't it? Is it tough when there's not a lot coming back at you either, because you know that you've got gears to go through if needed as well? Yeah, it is, but it shouldn't be, you know, it should be a simple game of just turning up and playing well, no matter what they throw, you should just play your darts, you should focus on what's ahead, you know, you should focus on playing the board and just, just getting the game out of there and getting on to the next game, but I don't know why I got embroiled in, 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 the, in the game I did, but I did, and and that I can do but I know and just put it behind me and move on. On the plus side though, it's a 3-0 win on that fabulous stage, so regardless of performance, that must make you feel good. Yeah, what makes me feel good, I suppose, you know, is the fact that I didn't feel any pressure at all. I just felt as though, like, you know, just, there was like a glorified exhibition more than anything else. I, I don't know why. I, I don't mean any disrespect at all in, in, in that, but it just, I didn't feel under pressure, I didn't feel anything. I just felt as though, you know, just, just play it. And I didn't, you know, especially when I didn't play well at all and just, just got through it. It's like, I'm not sure what to make of it, like, but I'd take the win and move on. When you look back, it's been a good season for you, isn't it? It's, uh, final of the World Cup, quarter final at Minehead, just gone. You come here full of confidence? I was here full of confidence. <laughs> that kid there just drooled all over me. I'm here now, I'm, I, I swear to God, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just do a little bit of, I'm going to say a few prayers and hopefully it comes to me by the end of the week. You seem very relaxed, which is great. You're, you're smiling. Is this time of, you, time of year you really enjoy? Of course it is. I mean, it's coming up to Christmas. I mean, what's not to enjoy coming up to Christmas? I've got two kids at home, you know, and I can't wait for Santi, and hopefully, hopefully he does turn up and looks after him because I can't wait for, for Christmas morning to turn up and see the two faces just explode with joy. I say, everyone knows you've been through the mill as a darts player. You remodeled your whole throw. Are you now seeing the benefits of that and the best of you is yet to come? Yeah, I feel as though the best of me is yet to come. I don't think I've, I don't think I've turned up yet, but... Bits and pieces here and there, yeah, absolutely, uh, I've turned up a bit, but uh, there's a lot more to come. I think next year is going to be uh, a big year for me. Uh, it's first year as a full year as a full-time professional, and, you know, I've got the time to practice. I'm going to have the dedication to practice, and, you look, know, hopefully I can, I can turn it into something a bit different and, uh, you know, get up those rankings a little bit further. Was that a tough decision to make, to give up your job to become a full-time professional? Because, obviously, then you have to win to earn money, where before there's still something coming in. Not really, <laughs> no, you know, you know, ah, it wasn't, you know, look, I don't take pressure to, I don't take pressure like a normal person, like, I mean, I look at it like, and I just, look, things are, pressure is what you make of it, like, you look at situations and, you know, they are what you make of them, so, look, I'm going to give myself 12 months of 100% dedication and, look, whatever happens, happens, I mean, I'm not going to put pressure on myself at all, there's no point. You put pressure on yourself, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not, not going to happen, is it? You're going to fail, and that's it. So I'm going to turn up, knowing I have those 12 months, and make those 12 months count, and hopefully come out the right side at the end of it. And if I don't, then I give them my best. Last one for me. Next up, going price of man of the moment, one of the bookies' favourites to win the tournament. Can you just go under the radar in this game and enjoy it? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go under the radar. I'm going to go in and give it 100, percent and I'm going to put every ounce of pressure I can in my body to blast him out of this tournament, and that's just it. Really? Thank you very much as always. Just one from me, Willie, if that's all right. Um, it's briefly mentioned you've had a fantastic year on the tour. Do you think this is the best form you've, you've been in going into all worlds? Not sure, to be honest, but the answer to that. Uh, playing all right, coming into tonight. Maybe if you asked me yesterday, I'd have a different answer, but not, not after tonight, no. Uh, no, but I've been in okay form, you know, I've been solid enough, but there's a lot more there, a lot more to come out. And there's obviously a lot of Irish players playing tonight. Keen Barry obviously playing at the moment, likes of Steve Lang. We've seen so many Irish players make their debuts at the World mm. Championship. Good time for Irish darts. Yeah, super time for Irish darts, you know, especially 
the two, especially when you see the two lads as, as you know dominating Irish starts at home, turn up and playing and and representing. You know, um, yeah, it's happened a few times in the past where you know lads have qualified through the Tom Kirby and things and have played and you know not not necessarily been dominating at home and you kind of mixed feelings about that. But the lads, the two lads, look, what can I say? They've been absolutely smashing darts at home. Two young lads as well, which is huge for Irish darts. And it's absolutely brilliant to watch and brilliant to, to follow. And I, I, I have a great following of the two lads. I've watched two lads and hopefully, you know, they come on. And Keane and Kieran, the two lads have massive futures in front of them. But then you, you could look at probably a hundred other players and say the same thing, you know. They have the ability, they have the talent. Will they come through in the end? Only God knows. We'll be behind them 100% all the way, and hopefully they can. And any help I can give them along the way, I'll do my best. Thank you very much, William. Okay. Um, you just spoke about Gerwin. Um, do you think it's a positive thing to come and He's got the pressure on him now, but he's sort of because he's had this momentum going forward. Do you feel like you can take advantage of that? Last year he came here in a similar situation, and Nathan Aspin came back and beat him. Do you feel you can do the same sort of thing? I don't think there's any pressure on him at all, to be honest with you. I think he's coming in on good form. I think he knows he's coming in on good form. I think he's coming in here thinking that if I come in here and play my best darts, then I'm going to blast Willie out of the board, which is not going to be the case because I'm going to have an answer for every dart he throws at the board. In my head, I, I'm ready to play that game. I was probably more prepared to play that game than I was Marco, which is probably a stupid move on my behalf. But, you know. When I when, when when I expect when, when Gerwin goes up to that board there, I expect to be two triples every time. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to hit those two triples back at him every time. If I don't, I don't. But I'm ready to play that game. I'm ready to play that big game, and I'm prepared to play that big game. I've been practicing that big game. Whether he brings it or doesn't bring it, I'm ready for it, and I'm going to give it to him. Is the thing that Gerwin should fear the most about you the fact that you are so relaxed and you are so sort of, you're not laid back and sort of oh well if this happens because you're not going in there sort of pent up. No, I don't think any of us feel any different than, than, than each other, to be honest. I think we all feel relaxed enough. I think we all I think everyone knows what everyone can do. I just think you've got to go up and do it. And if you don't, you know, you're going to get smashed off the board and that's it. I know that girl.